Now we're just going to have a quick look at the mini DVR that comes with the TC7. This is how it will uh, arrive after you've unpacked it. The battery that will be fully charged is supplied separately. What you have to do is push and slide the back cover and it will click off. Inside you have the terminals where the battery has to slide against. The battery has a plastic tab for that you can pull up to make it easier to take in and out. So these need to be aligned up, pushed in and clicked into place. Then the back can be refitted. There's two tabs on the inside casing which go into the holes in the chassis of the DVR and that clicks back in place. That's you ready to go now with the fully charged battery. If we just have a quick look at the mini DVR. Uh, what we have on the top of the unit is the uh, power button. This also acts as a camera button. The mini SD card. Um, there is a, a spot for a speaker there, but it's not activated on your, your TC7. Uh, there's many of these two items on the top. On the side of the DVR, we have some slots. Uh, we have the USB uh, connector cable. We have the switch mode, two settings, Q and N. We'll come to these later, but that basically is a screen saver and battery saver option. The AV out for connecting to TV screens and the AV in which is where you're going to connect your main uh, camera. So that's the basic buttons. On the front of the unit we have the record button at the top, fast forward, rewind, escape and the OK. The OK button is the enter button really. So to turn the unit on what we have to do is press the on button on the top. You have to hold it for about 10 seconds till it boots the entire system up. You'll get a screen will flash up and then you'll come to a no signal screen. Now the reason it says no signal is because you haven't got the camera connected. The camera connects by taking the jack lead. And if we turn this round and have a closer look, the jack lead plugs in to the AV in socket, you'll feel it click in place and once that's in you'll get an image on the screen. This is just an image of our roof that we're working on. Uh, if you want to capture uh, a video it's quite simple, you press the, the top red button and when you do that you'll see the record symbol appearing in the top left hand corner of your screen. That will be on the whole time that recording is taking place. Factory setting is to cut to record in 30 minute intervals, but you can change that to 5 minutes or 15 minutes. Uh, we'll show you how to do that in a separate video. While it's recording, this will stay. If you want to stop recording, press the escape button and you'll notice that the record symbol disappears. To re-record, press again. It's, it's recording a separate video here, it's not recording over the top of what you've just done. Uh, that, that will only happen when your SD card's full and you can set it to stop that happening. So press escape to stop. Uh, another feature we mentioned earlier is the power button doubles as the camera shutter button so you can take a picture. If you press that, hold it down for a second or two and release. You may notice there, if you look at the video, there was a small red flash in the middle of the screen showing a camera symbol. That means we've captured a JPEG photograph. So again, if we use the skip button to come out of that screen, it brings us to back to the main video menu. You can use your fast forward and your rewind button to move across the menus. An important one to go to is the playback. This is where your videos and your photographs are stored, uh, where you can view them and you can also delete. Um, so let's have a quick look in there. Once we're on that, if we press OK to enter, you have three screens that appear. Video, audio and photo. It's only the video and photo that's in use on the TC7. 
if we go into the video, pressing the OK button to enter, you'll see a series of MPEG files all listed with a different number at the end. These are the sequence that you've, you've taken various recordings in and you can scroll up and down them using the fast forward and rewind key. If you, when you click the OK button it will play the video that has been recorded. So that, that's how you see the videos. If we escape to get back to the playback menu we can scroll across to photo uh, if we press again OK to enter, you'll see a list of photos that you've taken. And if we press OK on that, it'll show you the photograph. So that's basically how to connect up, record a video and take a photograph. Looking at the side of the unit again, there is an important button that we need to mention. This is the switch mode button. Uh, this is very useful if you're out on site doing a long video record with intervals in between because you can switch on to Q mode and when you do that your screen goes blank. Your power button still remains on and the system is fully activated. You're just turning off the screen and saving battery power. When you're ready to record again, switch to N normal mode and your screen lights up again. So that's the basic functions of the uh, TC7 Mini DVR. As I said, it has got the Mini SD card. You press to eject. That can be taken on its own to a PC. Uh, if you only have the large SD slot, you can get an adapter that this drops into and plugs in. Or, very simply, if you don't want to get involved in that, the cable that comes with your unit plugs into the socket on the side of the DVR and goes straight to any uh, USB cable on a PC. So that's the basic functions. There's a separate video coming up soon which will detail uh, more information on how the uh, various menus and sub-menus of the TC7 system works.